Hello, hello. How's it going, Reddit turns? How's it going, my fellow gamers? How are you guys doing this fine Monday? You guys have your your gamer subs and your soylent ready to go, ready to game. conscious decisions to change the theming of the channel to you know be more tourist and family friendly so you know we're gonna be browsing some reddit today I know how much you guys love reddit we're gonna be seeing what's on the cool front page of reddit gonna read some things out see see what cool epic subreddits there are oh god I hope to god this is like my least viewed stream hello fellow gamers up you too also pre-ordered the G yeah, the G fuel diaper you guys got the brand new Funko Pops that have been released, the new Star Wars epic ones. I don't even know if there are new Star Wars Funko Pops. There probably is. Let's go ahead and get this show on the road. Let's hop on over to some browsing some Reddit. What's going on, guys? You guys like my new PNG? <laughs> All of my gamer bros spawning in here? Hell yeah. Uh, Alright, let's see. What even is on front page Reddit? Is there anything freaking epic on there? Go to reddit.com. Yo, dude, April Fool's Day? Nah, that's, psh, there's no such thing as April Fool's. We are such inclusive gamers. We were watching all the Tinks read English. <laughs> yeah, do you know? I, oh, I forgot to get like a, a drawn like a Mexican flag pin or something. Dude, our streetwear. What's like? What's the top thing? What's like? How do I see what's like popping? Popular? Popular. There you go. Our picks. The last thirty years. If the U.S. popular vote mattered. Yeah, fucking Clinton, Al Gore, Obama, and another Clinton. Oh, dude, can you, do you guys get audio? Is this an ad? No, expert refuses to value item on Antiques Roadshow. Let's see what freaking epicness this is. Of myself, and we in the Antiques Roadshow wholly and unequivocally disapprove the trade in ivory. But this ivory bangle here is not about trading in ivory. It's about trading uh... in human life. Ivory, so they don't want it because it's ivory. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta really like keep an eye out for the flipping elephants. You know, dude, so many flipping elephants. We gotta, gotta care about them. Why is this video like so low quality? This thing's so bad. All right, I already don't care. All right, what's what? What else do we got? R slash poverty finance. Took a year of busting my butt, but I finally gone from car living to apartment living. I have nobody to share with this. Nobody to share with, but this is huge, dude. That's so flippin' epic. He managed to get his own apartment. R face palm. He's just a being a good dad. Developing Dwayne the Rock Johnson has been criticized by his fans for letting his daughter put a wig on him and cover him in makeup. This shouldn't be posted. It's, it's just a dad hanging out with his kids. My best April Fools put this in the office bathroom. There was ketchup inside. It's not April Fools. 
You're literally you're, you're just putting a ketchup. Is this really what people just people like doom scroll this shit like on the daily? Do they really do this? It's kind of depressing. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Our letterbox. What movie is he watching? When you force yourself to watch one of the most gut wrenchingly boring movies. Because you kept being told it's cinema by everyone else. I don't know, what movie have I watched that's like shit? Uh, Titanic was fucking boring. Rose, like, just lets Jack die. I was like, alright. <laughs> so he chose way over than we thought possibly could ever be. Avengers Endgame is Cinema. <laughs> Five Puss and the Messiah is Falling. Too far, Green Man. <laughs> I can't, man. I can't keep it up. It's I can't. My brain is rotting. Just browsing through this fucking website. My mom at a house party her freshman year of college, 97. Dude, that's so flipping epic, dude. I love the weeds, the marijuanas, dude. Only boring movie Chud's Watch the talkie movies yeah dude i love flipping watching the avengers all the marvel movies dude i have my spider-man funko pop oh, i should have put a funko pop up on as a fucking little prop next to me my eight-year-old grandmother going in for a botched hip replacement repair in high spirits ready to get her life back like this is like private stuff that you really shouldn't be like sharing I mean, your grandma went through some serious shit. You'd be like, look, everybody, give me pity points. Ooh, art atheism. Religious talk with my husband. My husband is a Christian. I'm an atheist. We are in our mid-50s and married for 30 years. Hold on, let's, let's open this. We had a conversation yesterday that has me shaking my head in complete disbelief. <laughs> Edit. She died during the operation. 1.5k updates. Yeah, 100%. Like, edit, edit. Oh, I put her in a vase next to my Funko Pops. On my Funko Pop shelf. Regular normie social media is full of this shit. And I'm glad that I have a very good and curated Twitter feed. Where it's literally just like... Toho art. Fat anime titties. Like, 3D printed guns. And, like, VTuber news. Like, that's all that I get. Let's see. We were talking about hell, and I asked him, so you believe every single person from all the many different religions that do not believe in Jesus died on the cross for his sins go to hell? He said yes. I then asked, what about the children of, say, Muslims who happen to perish in a fire? They go to hell because they were born into the wrong religion? He says that God can choose to make an exception if he wants, meaning he can decide to save those children. What? So what is the point if God can pick and choose? Was that a facepalm emote? I <laughs> showed up to tell you I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> Guns, that's so heckin' not Keanu Big Chungus. Yeah, dude, that's not Big Chungus Keanu Reeves 420, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> Serena comes in just to say she's disappointed. Good, you should be. <laughs> you should be disappointed. Uh, He also said that God decided to ask the other gods in a tier that is just below him to help take care of different issues on Earth. As a matter of that God asked for help, and more importantly, why would a God that can create a world need help? He asked me, don't you need help sometimes? I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. But I'm human, not a god. He asked me if I ever feel lonely, like he wasn't playing that god asked for help because of loneliness. I'm just flabbergasted. Absolutely flabbergasted. Bamboozled by the way he thinks. He's reading Michael Heiser, who apparently makes everything make sense to him. Edit. I just read a bit from the book he was reading by Heiser called The Unseen Realm. In this book, Heiser interpreted from the Bible that God sits on the divine assembly administering judgment in the midst of other gods. He also said the god of the Old Testament was part of an assembly, so that's where he gets his ideas from, Heiser. If I try to ask a logical question, he uses the god works in mysterious ways. I mean, can't you, can't you just be accepting of your husband, just being a Christian? Just let, oh, Jesus, my eyes! 
just let him figure it out, man. Wholesome 100. But really, how are you, manager? Yeah, I'm all right. It's it's Monday. Having a a time streaming today. How did you end up marrying someone with such different and backwards beliefs? He became a Christian a few years ago. We've been married for 30 years. He started reading books by people that talk about giants and angels, all the mythical stuff that he helped that cleanse him, helps claims helped him understand better. He watched like one, like <laughs> one Twitter Hyperborea edit, and he was like, "Oh, that's me. That's literally me." What can you tell me by looking at my room? Dude, he's like so flipping awesome. He loves flags, dude. Let's see, that's like the Welsh flag. Return is more powerful than most realize. Christianity is le bad. Oh, I see the flag of Israel. I think that's some other one. I don't know. Drink water? I'll, I will later. Boomers being fools? That's a, that's a subreddit? I mean, I guess anything could be a fucking subreddit, right? Isn't that how the fucking website works? You can just make your own subreddit? Telling boomers we're going to throw the china in the garbage. My wife has had it with my mother-in-law thinking that we were going to preserve all of her possessions like a museum. Four adult kids who were all home at Easter. Mother-in-law said each of them should pick up one of the four different sets of china they want to inherit. Everyone said no. Mother-in-law got flustered because no one wanted her memories. My wife pointed out that they haven't been out of the cabinet in at least 30 years. And we're all here celebrating using the everyday plates. Mother-in-law tried to lie and said she uses them at Christmas. By Flossett, a reminder that we have been at every family gathering for decades. Blah, 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 blah. Why do you have to be such a fucking dickhead, dude? Honestly? Like, what? It's it literally your mother-in-law saying, here, it's, it's like a family heirloom. Like, here, have this, like, set of china, and you can just keep passing it down. I mean, is that, that's like the, like the female boomer equivalent of, like a grandpa giving like a knife to like his son or like a gun to his son saying like here pass it down I would have been like thanks grandma I appreciate it thanks for this set I'll love it I'll I'll buy a china cabinet and put it in there This lady's just a prick or a guy I don't know Uh let's see my mom wants to save everything too when I asked her she thinks we're going to keep it we have our own furniture and stuff in our house she suggested a storage unit. Like, do people, just everyone on Reddit just hate their parents, hate their grandparents? Yeah, like 6k up dudes? Like, people are just fucking assholes. <laughs> Cloaked massive ships over automaton worlds. Oh shit, is that true? <laughs> I played a little bit today, like one mission, I didn't even notice. Ah, I'll have to play again and see if I see anything. Are millennials? Hey, boss, how's it going, dude? Let's see, Fidelin. You know, I don't. Oh, that's a fucking ad. Uh, today I learned Jackie Robinson's. <laughs> Twitter can verify it. I hit my parents, and I'll still take some of their stuff for sure. Especially as said, here, take it. Yeah, no one likes their families in Reddit. I, I, I heckin' love Science Reno. I want to live in my pod. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello, Zers. Hey, how's it going, Amprim? R what, Rapex or Rapes? A tube-shaped anti-rape device with internal barbs inserted by a woman similar to a tampon. Oh, yeah, I've, I've heard of these. Where it's just like a bunch of teeth. What if the guy's into that? What if he's, like, into the Pain Olympics and he wants to get his, like, his wiener chewed up? How to wear a wig? Yeah, you have to wear a bald cap. What the fuck? Uh, huh? Is this how bald caps work? I thought you just kind of, like, wore it like a hat. 
Not that you had to do like a whole fucking song and dance to like glue it to your head. Huh. I never knew that. Are in the new buyers are avoiding Teslas because Elon Musk has become so toxic. Yeah, frick Elon Musk. We hate Elon Musk. <laughs> Slop doctor. Joey Swoles destroys another OnlyFan girls filming in the gym. Oh, yeah, I've seen this guy. Yeah, he's like, I quit being dumb and filming in the gym. Just started playing Elden Ring. Tell me something that I won't understand at first, but later will be like, ah, when I finally understand it. That's 2K upvotes? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I heckin' love Mado. I flippin' heckin' love anime, but not ones that sexualize women. That's bad. Those are very bad. One Piece bad. Let's see. Hamas slashes food prices at Gaza flooded with humanitarian aid. Didn't I remember like we we dropped MREs, but I think like the people over there in like Palestine, I think took the crates and started selling it back to like the people for aid. And everyone's like, oh, what the hell? How come we're not giving free aid? But I mean, we literally are. We're just dropping it off. <laughs> Sexual comedy in my series. That's problematic. Oh, dude, a freaking heckin' Poggers Doggerino. Dude, I freaking love puppers, dude. Wait, no, he's he's a big one, so he's a he's a doggo. I freaking love doggos, man. They're so freaking awesome. Uh, let's see. A cool guide on which religion ruled over Jerusalem the most. Non-Abrahamic, Jewish, Christian, Muslim. Okay. Oh, our Paul jail Trump. Get it? Get it over with. Lock the traitor. I freaking hate Orange Man. Orange Man, bad. He's Cheeto Man. Did he pay his $175 bond yet, or do we move the goalpost for him again? Agreed. Put the fricker in jail. I like how they have to censor themselves. It's, I mean, do you get in trouble for swearing on Reddit? I honestly don't know. Yeah, for what crime? No, seriously, for which of his many, many crimes? Oh, get it? Oh, he, pulled, he pulled a fast one on us, fellas. Let's see. What the heck is the? Oh, it's an ad. I don't care. Fuck ads. Our comics, the good old days. How are video games when you were a kid? So much better. Except there was no online play or game updates. Sometimes you couldn't even save or saves would corrupt. What made them better? They all they had instruction books to read on the ride home. Dad, why are you crying? I miss them so much. You can't just say the bad words. You'll get you'll be down I'll get freaking downvoted to Reno. Dude, that sucks. That's so uncool. I can already tell that the guy who drew this comic's a f idiot. He's a he's a big dumb because you don't need online play. Not every game needs multiplayer. <clears throat> Something uh, yeah, like saves. Dude, my gold, dude. Yeah, what an effing idiot, dude. Thanks for the gold, kind stranger. <laughs> Take a shot every time you see a fallacy, bro. I'm gonna like. Go brain dead. I'm gonna go blind, deaf. Have you heard of acting murdered by words? This is so left wing. This picture is from a film I made. That is to say, it's a character I was playing. It's not me in real life. Can you understand the difference? Huh? Zoe, De dude, I found Zoe Deschanel so hot in her, uh, and like. When she first started acting out. I don't know what she looks like now, but like I remember what was that movie? Yes Man? Right? I think she was in that movie. There she was so hot in that movie. I was like, God damn. Uh let's see. Texas person is diagnosed with bird flu after being in contact with cows. 
Nah, that's alright. Oh, now I hate human beings. Me after getting my first job as a waiter. Thinking humans can't be that horrible. Why is everyone just so mean? Why does everyone just hate people? Why is everyone on Reddit so cynical? So critical of everybody? It's like, it's like that one image of like, half of Twitter is people just getting mad at somebody that they think up. It's like, that doesn't even exist. I feel like that's just all of Reddit. Everyone's just thinking of someone in their head that doesn't exist. And they're just always mad. All day. Like, it's just festering in their brain. It's like, every day they wake up and they concoct a new person in their brain. Mandela effect. Nah, I don't care. Who else does this? Me, IRL. Dude, that's like, I I don't have an account, so I can't update it for the meme. Dude, that's, that's a, so me, dude. Drive? Yeah, I drive. To be fair, a lot of Reddit is also porn. Is it? R slash Tumblr. Why is there a Tumblr subreddit? Just go use Tumblr. God, I wish Tumblr didn't ban porn. I'm sick and tired of seeing all these fucking people in Fist Twitter and everywhere else. R slash 4chan, is that a thing too? No fucking way. Well, you're right. 4chan meta, 4chan exploitables, 4chan copypasta, user 4chan, one karma. Tumblr is so dead, they need a subreddit. All right, let's check. Let's check out what 4chan is like, dude. Oh, ooh, a modified our fortune. We need to have a talk about our content and some major changes that need to occur. Psych, get fucked for clicking this. I am back from the dead, and I say we just ban. Oh wait, is that actually Dino Tendies? On God, I haven't kept up with him in a while. Is he actually alive? How does this website work? Am I looking at his posts, actually? That's from three years ago. Uh, yeah, he's not... He's not posting at all. Oh, well, there he is. He posted this two months ago. So I guess he's still alive. He hasn't died of botulism, so... That's good. That's a win. Dino Tendies is still kicking to this day. Anon is antisocial. Before internet, I want to fuck toasters, grow out of it, have a normal life. After internet, I want to fuck toasters, find online community of, fel to of fellow toaster fuckers, fuck up your life. Why don't I just go to actual 4chan? I mean, I guess there's going to be a lot of actual just... I mean, I guess if I stay on blue boards, I'll be okay, but... Like, why not just actually go to 4chan? I feel like the people who browse our 4chan are people who, who have, like, the mindset... They're like, oh, I can't go to 4chan. That's the that's the scary website. If I just go to the subreddit, people will will post screen caps of the funny ones, of of the the heckin' heckin wholesome, non racist screen caps. So then I can laugh at those, but have a have a layer of separation of the rest of 4chan. They're just reposting literal decades old 4chan posts. And, oh, no, look, see, this one was last year from August. And this one is kind of old. It's, uh, no, that's, that post is, this has been said before. This is older than that. I have a feeling this guy posted this somewhere on some board, somewhere. And he screen capped it just to post it on Reddit. I bet you money that this guy, because this is an old fucking green text this guy literally word for word threw it somewhere screen capped it and posted it posted it to the fucking subreddit what did i miss oh, nothing dude just missing a sick hangout you know hanging out on the on the reddit being ursum holds up spork they didn't have a soundboard so i can play stupid noises 
but I, I literally thought up of this stream when I was at work bored. Yeah, and they were literally just like screen capping shit that happened like today or yesterday. Yeah, like literally a couple days. We need to listen to Sabaton to make it the ultimate Reddit experience. Oh, so true, so true, Umfi. Hold up. Oh, whoop, that's Twitter. Hold up, give me a second. Give me a second. Getting music. Wait, no, hold up. Uh, Nintendo. Nintendo. Music. I guess. Let's freaking. Yeah, chill video game music, I guess. No, I want like the more well known fucking Nintendo music. Come on, give me. Give me flippin' Nintendo. Come on. Come on, YouTube. This is just, like, all stupid, like, calm music. I want actual music. Uh, fuck it. Uh, Super Mario music. <laughs> Super Mario in real life. I like how that's something. Uh... They're just like a mix of just like random fucking Mario songs. Yeah, sure. How about this? Yeah, there we go. Much better. Ah. Uh. <laughs> we start song. Oh yeah, true. I'll I'll do that after if I remember. Shacho, what would your wife boyfriends think about this? You want to use the switch anymore? That's okay. My my wife's other bowl bought me an, a second switch to not tell my wife's boyfriend. So, you know, when I forget one or get the other taken away, I st I still have the other one. Yeah, like all of these fucking posts are recent. Like at literally at this point, why not just go to 4chan. Yeah, like, all of these are just... Like, from yesterday, a couple days ago. <laughs> I see, sir, an epic win. Hell yeah, dude. Epic freaking bacon swords, dude. Hmm, yeah, Easter, dude, the flippin' steamed hams. Yeah, we gotta put that on, on the freaking 4chan subreddit. Cuckold psychology, is that a thing? Also, I've noticed, it's by the same, this one same guy, too. Like, he comes up pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty often that guy comes up. It's like the same handful of people. It's like they feel good about themselves. Like, I, like, why even bother coming to Reddit? Going on our cuckold psychology would just turn this stream depressing. So go on it. Serena and cuckold, new and more iconic duo. Yeah, I know, right? All right, let's see. Let's check this out. What is it? What is it? Cuckold psychology? Cuck old <laughs> cuckold ethno state? Cuckold ideas? Is it not a thing? I got banned from our suicide watch? Huh? Yes, I'm over 18. Uh oh. Oh, uh, whew! 
I'm not trying to get stream taken down that bad. Communities? There it is. Wait, is, is this just like cock and balls? Am I going to see like cock and balls all throughout all this? Because I really don't want to see cock and balls. Oh, wait, there we go. No pornographic content? Okay, I guess there isn't? Okay, alright. I prefer my wife giving other guys oral. I've seen my wife fuck other guys, and I've seen her suck other guys' cocks. I've got videos of her doing both, but my favorite is definitely seeing the guy use her mouth. Sucking his balls and him fucking her face. I love it way more than her being fucked by guys. Like, I don't- I really don't want to read any of this. Wait, admitted she would cheat with him? I mean, if you're a cuck, you're- that's kind of already cheating. So, I mean, it's like... I'm trying to wrap my brain around it. <laughs> you're never making it to the pearly gates after saying any of these words out loud. Like, I- I don't get it, these people. Like... It- it really does rattle my fucking brain. Small steps? When I first mentioned other guys to the wife, initial reaction was she thought I didn't love her since I was interested in sharing her. Started to make small steps since then, not m minding me showing her off within reason. But biggest step made so far as last week, me and my friend usually get together once a week at either one of our houses. This time was my house, me and him gaming, smoking hookah. When she comes down in her nightwear, small tiny shorts, and a vest with no bra. So she wants to join us smoking. Nothing more really happened, but she sat between us. Uh, can I read more of this? I guess not. Nothing was mentioned since. Okay. Well. Experienced bull. Chastity and cuckold. Cucks on cleanup? Huka <laughs> Naturare. Black Souls reference? Is that what happens? Would you rather clean your wife, GF, right after a fresh load has been deposited? <laughs> or say the next morning after it's been in her for a while and had a chance to acquire- Huh? 15 hours ago? 56 upvotes? These people are sick in the brain! I don't want to be here. I don't want to read these words. How far is too far? Couple with the request to give my wife my best and the cuck my worst. I made sure to use the wife good and finish inside of her the first... Huh? The cuck clean it up? Didn't respect him as a man and I knew that hurt him? I made him thank me and I left? Jesus Christ. The wife texted me after that I can be meaner? I feel like that lady just wants to cuck her husband or her boyfriend. Yeah, the wife. So yeah, she just wants, I guess, the, the cuck E to keep being mean and fucking rude to her husband. So I guess her husband just leaves, leaves her so she can be with the, the bowl, I guess. That's just fucked. I wrote a... Can I just screen cap that? I need to screen cap that. That's like a highlight of the stream so far. We'll post this in fucking the general chat. <laughs> I didn't know you were a poet. See what it says. Sitting there in my chair, the bull takes off her underwear. I hear her moan. He starts to groan. He's taking my f he's taking my wife within my home. There in my hands, arranging boner, sitting in my cuckold's corner. All at once, he inside her, my wiener erupts. No feeling finer. I'm not usually the creative type, so let me know what you think. Me and wifey have been cuckolding with a couple different bulls. Going on three years now, and I feel this poem really captures the excitement I still feel every time. <laughs> I 
<laughs> no anti cuckolding content, no disrespect. Bro, this is like. It's depressing. Like, there's. I don't even want to know what any of these words mean. Hot wives? Bowls? Stags? Vixens? Cuckolds? I know what a cuck is. It's most Redditors, but. I, this is just sad. Is this the cuck sub? Yeah, it's one of them. Cuckolding developing into something long term? That's. Having have any couples transition from a purely sexual cuckolding relationship with their with their bull to something more long term, perhaps resembling polyamory. I can only speak for myself, but I couldn't imagine a happier scenario and a better fit for me than having a more masculine man take over the role of the man of the house for my wife and I. Like to imagine arriving home to my wife just before he does, and we are both excited to meet him at the door together and welcome him after a, a day at work. You're just. <laughs> one of them? Yes, neat. One of them. <laughs> this just sucks. This this is like messing with my brain. Hearing this like happy Mario music. And then just cuckolding, reading cuckold posts on Reddit. Like it's a weird sense of like I don't feel good right now. <laughs> My life is like a video game. Bro, this is depressing. Wait, hold up. Isn't there like a... Top? Oh, that's like the best thing. Or top of all time. One year ago, this is like the best thing that's been said on this fucking subreddit. Let's see. The slightest thing your wife has done that really surprised you. For me, we were on vacation in Seattle and it was like... It was three in the mornings when we posted uh, added on double list and many guys responded. We picked this one guy because his wiener was huge. He came to our hotel. I meet him in the lobby and walk him up to our room. What I am about to tell you completely blew my mind. My wife said hi to him and walked up got on her knees pulled his big member out and started sucking it i was like what a little slut i mean this guy was a complete stranger she knew him less than 30 seconds every time i watch the video i always blow my load at that part i still not believe how slutty she was and i loved it i don't think english was this guy's first language but at that hey man that's 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 on them can i get out of here i don't want to i don't want to read this anymore What's, what's, what, like, what's memes? <laughs> My brain needs to relax from reading depressing cucks posting that they're happy. Or sad that their bull is stealing their wife. Hamburgers should be horizontal. Uh, yeah, true. I, I flippin' I flippin' agree with this redditor. Tall burgers are freaking stupid. Cause how are you gonna eat that? A big wide burger is where it is. Can we take a look at that subreddit banner? What this thing? How do I don't think there is how do I I don't think there is one. Is there a banner? How do I see banner for it? No, on memes? Uh. Can I open this in a... No, I can't. Edge doesn't work like every other, you know, cool modern browser. <laughs> Horrid. I don't get how this is a meme. It's literally just a collage of cartoons. I don't get how that's a meme. Seems fair. Luke, I have been living as a hardworking moisture farmer. I've been living as a princess. Uh, I don't get it. I don't... Not safe for work. Uh... Alright, alright. I'll click... I'll click show, and then we'll just, like, scroll past it. Oh. Huh? Me, my sleep, my will to play video games at 12 p.m. 12 p.m.? That's... That's noon. That's... That's not... That'd be 12 a.m. 
That's midnight. 12 p.m. is noon. Well, I mean, Redditors aren't all that smart. So, I mean, it, it makes sense. <laughs> so heckin' relatable. Yeah, dude, this, the skimpy anime girls, yeah, you can't have... Whoa, is that a... A her L word? We can't have that. That's that's too much. We have to cancel that guy. Uh huh? What the? F He's a Dalek? What the fuck is what the fuck is this? What what the fuck is it? Like, who's more up to date with the? Rainbow people's terms. What the fuck is a Dalek? <laughs> that shit sounds like a Star Wars race. I have no clue what the fuck that means. They also tell you there are no stupid questions. Just tell us your idea. There are no bad idea. AIDS? Well, yeah, AIDS. This product was a, was a weight loss supplement. <laughs> That came around before the AIDS epidemic, so I mean, it's not their fault. What happens at Alpha Camp stays at Alpha Camp. How is it not safe for work? Oh, well, yeah, I guess that makes sense. You want to be an alpha male for 20k? Fuck yeah, bro, make me alpha. Yeah, those. I completely forgot those exist. Like, dude, like, why drop 20 grand? For like those alpha male can just go and list. Like, what's the point of going alpha? Just go and list. At least I won't look down on you for going to fucking to go and list. I'll be like, you enlisted, man. Cool, dude. Good for you. Oh, you went to fucking alpha male camp and wasted twenty grand for some dude to hose you with water. It's actually called nostalgia for a reason steal his luck dude the dad from what john johnny test a thousand dollars for a pair of fucking loafers bro rich people shit dude i don't get it i don't get how i mean i i get it these companies just mark shit up because it's a brand but it makes no sense to me that a fucking pair of pants costs eight hundred dollars. My face when I realized sticking your tongue way up someone's butthole has less social stigma than being attracted to feet. Yeah, cause feet's fucking nasty, dude. <laughs> the year is 2024. Russia are the bad guys. You know, I kinda, I kinda get it. I mean, like, yeah, eating ass is less social stigma than, yeah, than fucking licking feet. I don't know. I'd rather eat a girl's ass than suck on her fucking toes. Eating ass is gross, though. I get where you're coming from, but I'd rather eat some chick's ass. <laughs> I don't do neither, man. <laughs> decent meme, Reddit. Yeah, decent meme. People, when they hear bad news on April 1st, please say psych. What do you mean bad flipping news, dude? Are you the guy doing my prostate exam? Oh, no. Dude, that's so freaking funny. Get it? Because he has, he has a big hand. Me after Spider-Man saves me and drops me off 90 miles from where I was supposed to be at. <laughs> Black and white fallacy, I choose the third option. Living in the south be like me, pollen. Dude, I flipping live not in the south and there's like freaking pollen everywhere. This meme doesn't make sense. That's a freaking downvote by me. That was fast. It's April for yeah. Okay, I will agree. Uh, it's already fucking April. Time needs to take a fucking step back. <laughs> real Taco Bell. Did somebody take Taco Bell on Reddit? Is that why they have to say real Taco Bell? <gasps> mm. 
the magician who asked me to take one random card. Me who has taken his credit card. Dude, that's freaking funny. Why men actually do skincare to attract girls for health purposes. I, I just, I don't want to look like shit. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying not to look like garbage and have my skin look disgusting by the time that I'm like 60. Deep sea fish getting hit by a 980 lumens camera flash after living an entire lifetime in complete darkness. Yo, dude, like some, like, some of the freaking deep sea fish, dude, they look so scary. They look like aliens. Like they will, like, fucking suck my brain out of my eyeball. Is this... Oh, dude, Reddit, dude. We're on, we're on the Reddit. We love this site. Wait, isn't there, like, a better memes subreddit? Like, dank memes? Is that still a thing? Is that still around? Yes. I'm banking on dying at 30, which is why all my routines are completely unmanageable if I keep it up for too long. What it's called in Australia? What it's called in America? Herm, I don't freaking get it. Downvote this comment if the meme sucks. Upvote it and I'll go away. Yeah, I just call it canola. What, what's the other freaking name, dude? Oh, Rapeseed? Is that what it's called? <laughs> Dank bros, we won? People suffering their friends April Fool's jokes all day? Germans who had weed legalized today? Dude, that's so freaking awesome, dude! I can freaking blaze it up in Germany? I can have my big old pint of spooking Bleckenstein beer and have a fat joint dude awesome <laughs> like all seed oils it sucks I, cu I, I cook with olive oil I don't know I heart front the lobe frying plant what happened to all their funny people Germans were never funny <laughs> Shit physics, wacky controls, unfair gameplay, scripting, no checkpoints, artificial difficulty, people making hard games. I bet you 10 bucks somebody's gonna say Dark Souls in these fucking replies. Wow. Damage sponge, okay. Nobody say anything about Dark Souls. Wow, okay. Just get good. The next Dark Souls. Wow, he said it! Reddit, he said it! Hell yeah, I love Sonic Adventure 2. I can't get enough of doing blind jumps. Just to hit an enemy that was off screen. Dude, that's literally your fault if you get hit by anything in Sonic Advance 2. Okay, well, no one, I guess, actually unironically said Dark Souls. Cars, motorcycles, seatbelts, airbags, a fucking metal cage. Hold on, optional. Haha, <laughs> that's so funny, dude. I literally saw somebody say something about Dark Souls. A uh, reply on the first comment? Oh, really? The first Dark Souls feels so trial and error. You die to a random ass skeleton spawning behind your back. Mm, no? Uh. I'm like trying to like scrub my whole brain. I mean, I guess if we went to the left of Firelink Shrine, but all of those skeletons are literally right there. You can see them clear as day. So you walking towards a horde of skeletons, that's kind of on you. Old ass controls to boot. Doesn't feel fun and challenging. That guy's just bad. Unironically. MFers when their life is a joke, but today is April 1st. This guy didn't see the undead behind the crates in like the first half of Dark Souls 3. Yeah, the tall motherfucker literally just standing there with a halberd. Yeah, probably. 
How I sleep knowing that I have never licked a butthole. Am I really missing out? Dude, he's never licked a frickin' butthole, dude. My wife making me read every food nutrition label in the grocery store after I was diagnosed with high blood pressure. Do you really need to tell everybody that? It's like, that's all what Reddit is, right? It's just like pity points. It's like, you gotta add something. You gotta include something to to get people to give you that upvote, that karma that you, for some reason, desperately crave. <laughs> Bottle licking pog. How's it going, Lady Isabel? I don't think I've seen you around. I hate thinking about this now. I was like, for people who have never seen my streams before, seeing this, us browsing Reddit and my fucking PNG as it is, as their first experience of seeing me. You know what? Honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. I have with the fucking Mario music playing in the background, too. <laughs> Worst fate. <laughs> I think it's a pretty funny fate, if you ask me. When the guests are supposed to be there in one hour, but you hear the doorbell ring early. That's on her. That's like honestly my best friend. When he comes to hang out, he always shows up a half an hour early, like an asshole, and I'm barely out of the shower. Then you kahoot all over the when a teacher says that it's kahoot time. <laughs> Rape. I. No, I'm, I'm too old. I didn't do Kahoot in school. Arriving <laughs> early is badass. Now when I saw my fucking cock and balls hanging out and I'm ass naked in the restroom and he's knocking on my door. And this is like uh, one of them, one of them super zoomer memes, right? Woman, women, am I right? Woman, babe, I think we should break up and see other people. Her boyfriend, okay. What do you mean, okay? Stop picking your nose or else. I don't, I don't know what that means, but sure. Is it worth another fucking alpha male boot camp meme? Is that like a big thing going on right now? <laughs> Wait, he's actually browsing Reddit? Yeah, dude, I freaking love Reddit, dude. It's so cool. It's so awesome. The trust fund hippie chick after we hook up. I mean, interns, would you? Oh, I know. It's Reddit turns, would you? I couldn't, I couldn't deal with these hippie chicks. I can only imagine the smell. <laughs> no. When your dad finally says he's proud of you and he loves you, then you remember it's April 1st. You're like, now I know why all these Redditors are this way. Maybe they're just disappointments to their father. And they're just mad at their dad. <laughs> no. What is this? Huh? <laughs> 2D, 3D. Car designers then. The technology to make these headlights doesn't even exist yet. It's just as exciting to look at it as it is to drive. Of course there's room in the engine bay. How else are you supposed to work on it? I removed the radio to make it lighter and improve the handling. I would not date a woman if I could not bear to look at her. I'm just being legit. Yeah, all that's a bit much. Innovation isn't good for sales. We need to follow the competition. This year's model has six more fake air vents, and the body lines are so sharp they can cut you. Change the air filter. Please bring it to one of our authorized dealer locations. Our new infotainment screen is bigger than the windshield. I mean, you don't have to take your car to the to a dealer. Literally just work on your car yourself. When here's somebody on the other side of the office say, is someone fucking smoking in here dude whoa dude people, that guy still bro cigarettes are so bad for you dude shouldn't be smoking you should be smoking weed instead man 
It's like way better for you, doesn't give you cancer, doesn't mess up your lungs, dude. Jesus, save me and cleanse me from my sins. Whoa! Whoa! Those were massive. But I can't show that on on YouTube or Twitch. <clears throat> the stoner mind cannot comprehend the power of the pure imaginary mind. Yeah, that shit kind of fries your brain after a while. From what I hear, from what I've seen some people say. <laughs> Awooga! Herm, my lady, those seem kind of heavy. Can I hold them for you? Me watching myself from the future opening Discord's loot boxes. I'm currently 400k in debt with a 48 leg parlay. We literally destroys your brain and motivation after a while. That's what I've heard. Like, it kind of fucks with your, like, uh, yeah, like your motivation, stuff like that. Like, your, uh, I don't know what the f how the fuck to say it, but kind of messes with something like that. Diabetes? Is that really McCartney? Rewind it to read the text. That was a Boeing meme. Okay. Tipping in the 90s. Tipping nowadays. Be sure to enjoy our hostile environment. Tip? I don't tip. Life update? Okay. I guess. Remind me, I need to open my horse and dog racing account after missing out on 2k. You fucking bet on the races? That That's like... That's like a, like American pachinko, honestly. Well, no, I guess that would just be regular casinos, because, I mean, we can actually gamble at casinos. But that's like another, like, pachinko equivalent, I, I'd assume. Huh? Heart pendant? Those are, those are big testicles, dude. Dude, I'm fucking starving. I need to eat dinner. Uh, define that. Maybe when people ask me if they can start a support group for procrastinators. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I can understand the tipping, but returning your shopping carts. I always return my shopping cart. It is the morally correct thing. <laughs> Should I just use balls immediately? Because, dude, I'm like a Redditor, dude. I kind of... Soylent bot. I need my Soylent. Can you open it for me as well? Yeah, I don't I don't tip. After after working back of house in a restaurant, yeah, I don't tip people. But I return my shopping cart every time. It doesn't matter. The people who work at Walmart are lower life forms and are not obligated to return a shopping cart to them. It's it's literally yeah, you failed the litmus test, Amprim. It's a, it's a reflection of, of your character. A dilemma for sure. Oh, wait. This is a, it's a drumpf. Orange man bed, right? When you finally get up the nerve to ask her out and she throws up on your shoes. I didn't expect that reaction, but that's okay. I mean, you're still leaving debris for other people. The surgeon doing Benjamin Netanyahu surgery gonna be like I don't know what that means. Kind of live under a rock. I don't I don't know people's names. Yeah, I'm a little late. Leave me alone. Easter 2024. Easter 2025. Dude, that's so freaking cool, dude. <laughs> Not my problem, Desu. Literally a bad person. Failed the shopping cart litmus test. Netanyahu is the king Jew. Ah, okay. Uno reverse. Jack Black looks like a failed serial killer that became a musician, actor, and comedian instead. Dang, that's young Jack Black. Everything reminds me of her. All right, what's uh, what's another freaking epic sun subreddit that we can look out, dude? Check out Guru. It's about meditation and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, totally. 
<laughs> our sounding? <laughs> That's Jack Black at 23, I think. Yeah, Gorilla, uh huh? Yeah, 100%. It's about meditation stuff. Uh huh. Going to bed while it's raining after taking an edible and a Benadryl. Finally, inner peace. <laughs> Our anime memes? Our anime memes? Is that a thing? And from you're kind of kind of like telling me like subreddits that only a redditor would know. Amprim, do you, do you have something you want to say, dude? Our shit posting is fun is sometimes funny. What's like a depressing one? Like something that we can laugh at redditors cuz like cuck cuckold psychology was one. But like what what else is there? Damn paint is harder than I thought. Whoa. That's very badly drawn anime tits. People who can't draw right now? <laughs> Big dick problems? Am I the asshole? Oh yeah, true. Usually, yes, they, they always are. <laughs> Art watch people die. Didn't they, didn't they remove that one? I remember I watched like some fucking video that said like a whole bunch of like these like more edgy subreddits got like taken down. Am I the asshole? Watch people die is this, is a cute meme sub now? Really? Our jailbait? Yeah, like, I think it was along the lines of like all those that got taken down. Like jailbait, like rape, stuff like like all of those subreddits I think all went down at the same time. After that one guy, like the head moderator, went on the news or something, after he got doxxed. Am I the asshole for refusing to help my dad's wife with her baby and saying I'm not, I'm not her helper? Dad and I, 17M, do not have a good relationship. When my mom was sick with cancer, my dad was out cheating on her and left me to take care of my younger siblings, 12F, 11M. He even let me catch him with two different women during that time and my mom was on hospice. It was really difficult not to say anything, but I was so overwhelmed and scared saying, okay, yeah, well, yeah, this guy cheated on his wife while she was dying of cancer. It's four years ago, I never forgave him for what he put me through, told me I never want to be like him. He's no role model. Oh, Jesus, there's more? What happened to the mom? Did the mom die? I just want to skim this. Someone was in charge uh, oh, after mom died, but eventually I suddenly started to pick up some skills. Wow. Uh, Dad met someone a couple years ago, introduced us last year, and it took a few weeks for her to move in. She's pregnant, and they got married. New kid. Yeah, and you know what? Yeah, that's why I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking read all this. I'll skim through it. So yeah, fucking mom had cancer, and dad was cheating during that. Mom died, and dad hooked up with the new chick, like, almost right away. That chick had a kid, and they married. Yeah, no, I don't think that guy's the asshole. The dad's an asshole. <laughs> Our anti-work. Oh, is that still up? I thought that one got taken down. Hold up. I want to see. I want to see if anti anti work is still up. Is it like? Is it still a meme thing? Respect that anti work is a worker space. Participate in good faith. No spam. No low for content. Contribute original content. It's still a thing. Thought my boss was playing an April Fool's Day joke. Hello. Beginning April, any PTO and RTO will be denied. I have to ensure that the restaurant is fully running. Your restaurant will no longer accommodate employees. We have a business to take care of. Any questions, please talk to me personally, blah, blah, blah. Because that's illegal, right? This has to be a joke. I request through the whole month in April, blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay. I mean, that's just a bad place where you work sucks. We will start living seasonally and honor our human needs for rest and leisure. All gains in productivity will be used to give workers more... Blah, 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 blah. I don't even know what this means. Is there more to it that you're not sharing? Can't believe millennials and younger generations are so progressive and radical that we watch as kids. I'll dismantle this oppressive establishment board by board. I mean, that doesn't make sense. Because, I mean, SpongeBob was kind of being manipulated by Squidward in that episode. But he loves working at the Krusty Krab. Dude, I went ape shit on my boss and got fired? 
I can't open this because it's not safe for work. Oh, yeah, I can. Uh, he even put a fucking table flip emoji. Ever since he started work for this guy, he's been dragging himself through the mud by being a cheap stick and a small man. He cuts costs the most bizarre way possible. He wants to ask my colleague who lives near the office to bring food to a nearby park so that me and him and she can have a team dinner. And my colleague like, lost all respect for him by the end of the month for working for him. Two weeks ago, this donut asked me if he can just give me 6% of my salary. Blah, 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 blah. Uh-huh. He wants to cut your pay. Uh-huh. His small dick energy? Why do they always have to bring up cock? So my bank invoice for the next five minutes. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, the, dude, he's like freaking upset, man. You had to, dude, I had to flip the freaking table, dude. <laughs> Bro looks like a CP0 agent, huh? Uh, ads. Uh, over 500,000 fast food workers in California just got a huge raise thanks to a new law, but not everyone is celebrating. Oh, did the minimum wage go up? Is that what I'm reading here? Oh, is it a labor thing? Because I honestly don't care for unions. And, uh... Higher minimum wage kind of stinks. <laughs> Plankton in his human form. Fucking Gavin Newsom. SM doesn't care that I have food poisoning. There's a Dollar General subreddit? Why are minimum wage jobs the worst jobs? Because they're jobs that you get when you're a teenager to a young adult to get your life started so that you can get experience and know how to work, learn how to work at a job, know how to behave in the workplace. So that you can work harder, maybe go to school or get experience so you can find a better job. That's what I don't get about these people who think that they can start at a dead end job and just expect to be get paid a shit ton the longer they stay there or that you know it sucks dick when they work there. It doesn't make any sense. Think of the poor recruiters having to sift through desperate applicants. I think it's way hard, way too easy to apply for jobs. It should be harder. Unpopular payment, probably, but the system is broken. I think being able to click one button to apply is a massive part of the problem. Every job, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, the job, applic job applications kind of are too easy, but at the same time, I don't want to be filling out fucking job applications forever. There's truly nothing better than a supportive work environment. How is this anti-work? I got just got the formal diagnosis. I have PTSD from a previous job. The worst people I've ever had to work with. It's so bad. Blah, 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 blah. It's, what happened at your job? You just have PTSD. Okay. All right, man. Okay. My job went to eight hour shifts to ten hour shifts, don't warning anyone. Alright. I mean there's like a laws for all of this. I mean, you can just talk to your boss or complain about it. It's like a lot of these people are also scared of like confrontation. Like they don't want to talk to their boss or talk to the higher ups. They just want to make an ass of themselves, burn bridges. Cause like some work places will do background checks and we'll be like oh how did this guy leave did he quit by being a dickhead yeah we're just not gonna hire him again these people are kind of really stupid let's go back to am i the asshole we didn't get a good look at that one we read like one thing here whoa is that streamer without green suit didn't know this was a face reveal stream and it just, uh, it's always like this, dude. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Am I the asshole for not accepting an apology gift that seemed racist? My husband and I were at this family annual 
his family's annual giant egg hunt where we were talking 300 400 people jesus christ how big is that fucking family it works nora my husband's ex known for never missing a beat to mention her irish heritage and for being let's just say over enthusiastic about giving her kids easter gifts this year she gives my daughter the only biracial child i'm black my husband's white a monkey stuffed animal meanwhile every other kid is getting bunnies ducks chicks you name it except one kid who got a monkey because he asked everyone knows she always tries to play santa claus at easter oh it's because they gave your <laughs> gave your kid a monkey i mean obviously if another kid asked for a monkey so might as well like she's i'm pretty sure she's gonna pick out multiple at of one toy at a time so she's not just gonna grab the one monkey Pretty sure, oh, some other kid will like a monkey. You know, maybe this person is just uh, reading into it way too much. My husband, blah, blah, blah. You don't think I'm racist, do you? Blah, 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 blah. Why are you crying? You're the one who gave my daughter a monkey. Blah, blah, blah. If you actually cared about her, you wouldn't have been so thoughtless. Bro, it's a fucking monkey toy, dude. Later, blah, blah, blah. I didn't make a mistake, man, blah, blah, blah. Well, well, yeah, it's just because of a monkey. <laughs> Genghis Khan descended family reunion. Bro, like, all of China's gonna fucking be there, dude. Their only kid got that monkey, maybe, but the kid had the option to pick another. I know, they don't, they didn't say or state if their kid wanted the monkey because another kid wanted a monkey so i'm sure she had more than one who knows yet yeah, they never stated if the daughter wanted or their kid or whatever the fuck wanted the monkey i only asked for giving my son's teacher a gift my son is a second grader and he really doesn't care how i dress him i saw a bunch of vintage rock shirts on sale we're going to Kurt Cobain, Guns N' Roses, Doors, blah, blah, blah. His teacher sent me an email saying shirts were inappropriate because those bands are essentially driven violence. She said, don't send him to school wearing them or she'd have him wear his shirt inside out. Uh-huh. Masking tape over Kurt's face. That pissed her off. Blah, blah, blah. She left for maternity leave and dropped some gifts off in her class of the day. They were baby clothes with Nirvana on them. Apparently, she complained to the VP who told me it was insulting. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, it's kind of funny. This this subreddit upsets me more than the weird cuck ones. Why? Like, the, the other ones aren't upsetting to me. It's just, it's depressing. Like, somebody lives their life out that way. And they're, I mean, they're happy. I mean, who am I to tell them they can't do that? But it's just, it's depressing. Am I an asshole for calling out my sister for her facade of being poor during Easter dinner? A medical student always used to get out of jail every time she has a chance. Blah, 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 blah. What? Uh, photos in Greece, Czech, and Cyprus. Blah, 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 blah. Well, I mean, I guess she has the money, but... I mean, you kind of are a dickhead to bring up, like, financial shit in front of the family. Especially during, like, holidays like Easter when everyone's together. This is just bad people screwing over other people and the cucks are reddits. I can just go, yeah, you're all degens. Yeah, I guess you're right. The sub is the embodiment of, see how stupid the average person is? Now I realize 50% of people are dumber than that. It's like... It's like people just like lack critical thinking and like conflict resolution skills. It's like they just always want to make a scene out of it. They want to make something out of nothing. I don't. All for the karma, I guess, for the Reddit upvotes. It's like I feel like a good percentage of these people just go out of their way to be an asshole to their family or to other people. Or to instigate some situation that they can, like, embellish and make a post about on Reddit. I guess that's all social media, but it's like, I feel like it's more so on Reddit.
My an asshole for refusing to give my sister lifts to and from work and demanding her to pay me back for all the driving lessons I paid for? I, 19, have an older sister. We live in the UK. We can learn to drive at 17. Blah, 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 blah. Bro, like, gas is dirt cheap over there. Why are you complaining? Am I an asshole for not buying my teenage son an adult meal? Uh, maybe? Depends. Uh, my five kids. Jesus, five kids. I was going out for dinner, fancy restaurant. My son, 14 years old. Small appetite, only eats certain foods. He's autistic and has suspected afrid. I don't know what that means. Uh, I was very worried, blah, 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 blah. He only really eats pizza, certain soups. Oh, is that Afrid shit? Like, oh, he can only eat certain things. It's like the stupid fucking make-believe picky condition. Eat fucking food like a normal person. You can't just eat only fucking pizza and chicken nuggets forever. I was leaving to go to the restaurant and realized they had a kid menu, a lot of the food my kid would like. A lot of foods he wouldn't touch, blah, 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 blah. He's feeling hungry. He wants something from the adult menu. It's good to remember 100% of stuff on Reddit is made up and didn't actually happen. True. It's like 4chan. It, it didn't happen. None of it is real. But it's like, you know, sometimes you just kind of feel like these people are being sincere. And it's like, wow, you're an asshole or you're a fucking idiot blah 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 so his autistic kid was chimping out that he wanted an adult meal and they didn't get it and they're kind of feeding into the kids picky eating I would have made him fucking eat his meal no way you better eat that shit or I'm not gonna fucking feed you homie eat it Let's see, what, what are there like, what other funny reddits, subreddits are there? Probably gonna do looking at reddit for like a probably like another 15 minutes, but like what? What's other like depressing, just eat it man, <laughs> and the food they gave. They gave Al in the hospital, just eat, just eat the food man, just eat it. Uh, oh wait, yeah, what is it, like, car hate? Or some shit like that? Or, like, I hate cars? Fucking... Like, something, something with cars. I fucking, I forgot what the fuck... What it's called, it's like... Is it, like, anti-car? better ways to help a kid eat food I mean I, I come from an old fashioned kind of family literally just like you better eat it or you're gonna get very sick it's pretty much uh I just gotta keep the cycle going of bad parenting saying you better eat this food it's good for you other food is not good for you uh what the fuck is like the car hate subreddit? I don't look at that one because that, that one's funny. Let me just type like car hate. Uh oh there it goes. It's called fuck cars. What's like the top of like this year? What do we got? You can legally drive this 14,000 pound vehicle in every city in the US that has banned 35 pound e scooters for safety reasons with the exact same exact license you received in high school. This country is consistently exceptional in the worst sense of the world. Uh, that's a fucking huge ass truck. I mean, I don't see a need for having a truck that massive, but I mean, hey, if he wants to own that truck and it's street legal, hey man, I'll, he can go for it, dude. I wonder why they banned the scooters. 
Is it like the scooters are like dangerous? They weren't made well and they just like explode? Cycle lanes are empty. They're just incredibly efficient. Oh, does somebody got to like drive on the cycling lane? I hate cyclists. Oh god, don't even get me started on cyclists. Big trucks like that are incredibly dangerous. Yeah, for the people I hit. New Houston law requires 10 parking spaces for every parking space. New concrete bike lane barrier prevents car from ramming into Tokyo cyclists. Here in my state, they just put that bike lane right next to the fucking actual lane. <laughs> Oz treats them like an endangered species. And it's like, they always bitch and moan like, oh, you have to share the road. And it's like, all right, asshole. If you're going to be in the cycling lane and you want to be treated like a fucking vehicle like me driving my car, don't block traffic like the fucking shithead that you are and get mad when I honk at you. Las Vegas is so funny. Las, uh, Las Vegas is so funny because it's just putting walkable urban spaces from around the world indoors since it's illegal to build actual places like this in the U.S. I feel like that's a load of cap. Pretty sure it's not illegal. One more lane should fix it. There's too many. That's a, that's a picture of like L.A. Too many fucking people live here. Move somewhere else. Don't have fifty kids and all live in the same house. I'll go to work in the same city. I am sick and tired of more and more people moving to California. I don't need to share the road. They need proper infrastructure to keep people away from them. Incredibly dangerous death traps called SUVs. Adding lanes make traffic worse? Yes, that's true. I didn't deny that. I think there's too many people here. And they need to go away. The true vermin of our society. It's just a, just a ram truck. It's a dually. It's a work truck. Manly, unmanly. Most of the work is done for you. Luxurious seating built for comfort. You can hide from Mother Nature in their risk of insecurity and desire to be seen. It's probably a mudding truck. He probably goes mudding with it. Probably doesn't drive it on the street all the time. And if he does, he's probably in some Midwest town. There's not a lot of people. You have to exert yourself physically using your muscles. If your ass gets sore, you'll have to suck it up. No protection from the elements. Oh, an Adobe ad. City turns off blind woman's water supply because they see no cars at home and assume the house is vacant. I feel like there's more to it than that. They said they saw no cars? Hmm. The Supreme Court of India has ordered for the cutting down of these century-old trees to make way for a four-lane highway. Today I learned removed a post the 35 about tire pollution pollution because it's political. Mm. They have the same bed length. Yeah, but that tiny K car, that K truck, is meant for light loads. It's meant for some dude who probably catches fish or does some small gardening or landscaping thing in Japan. Where the roads are meant for that K-car. While that truck is for more heavy-duty things. Like the Freemuck the truck can actually handle what that guy's going to use it for. There's for 99% of the trucks people own. There's no reason I should be seeing 10 trucks every 2 seconds with an empty bed. Cars are more efficient and do the exact thing most truck owners need. Go to work. That truck does not haul anything ever, I would guarantee you. Probably does, if that guy also owns the K-Car, which means he probably works on stuff. <laughs> so that truck probably does haul. And Bristol residents install bird spikes to avoid droppings on cars? Huh. like the anti-homeless spikes 
Spain, these US states. Sorry, buddy. The infrastructure <clears throat> of this country is built around cars, and it won't change. 3,000 kilogram vehicle that can't even fit a bike in the back. What a waste of space and resources. Wow, is the bed really that small for a fucking cyber truck? Lancaster, California transformed its downtown in just eight months by redesigning its main street from a mini highway to a tree lined boulevard. For the cost of just 11.5 million, the project has generated. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so what does this have to do with cars? Because it looks like it still has the same amount of lanes. It's a double lane. But they just plant, they added, oh wait, no, they got rid of the, of the turning lane. Turning lane's just gone. Okay. Yeah, like all of these European countries already had the infrastructure for trains and everything before the US did. So many K- was everyone just buying K-trucks now? Oh, video no longer available. Africa will have high-speed trains before the US does. I'm not all for public transport, man. I don't want to share a whole car with the Legion of Arabs. Freight rail took it and ruined it. I mean, we kind of are. We kind of do need all that freight to be moved. <laughs> we have passenger trains. Yes, you do. Most cities usually have them to connect to other neighboring cities. I used to take the train to go hang out with my friends. Sometimes it was nice. It was relaxing. Monopolies? Well, that's kind of how it works, man. Millions of Americans visit Europe every year to be able to experience what living in Cincinnati was like before cars destroyed it. Uh, I mean, the roads were still there. But land developments change. People sold their, their buildings. People sold the land. And now whatever the land owner now wants to do with it they can do whatever they want with it not really a car thing more so whoever owns the land kind of thing <laughs> gonna drop my kid off at school ain't this one of them star wars things longer beds longer cabs Trucks used to be practical work vehicles, and they're built for luxury and appearance of just so guys can feel manly and tough when driving them. No, that's not true. Regulations changed. It's now illegal to make those trucks. That's why you don't see them anymore. They're grandfathered in if you see them on the road. That's also why they're trying to ban the import of K-cars, because people are buying them a lot nowadays. Uh, I know in California, they're trying to ban them again. Uh, but yeah, regulations change. There's some weird fucked formula about mileage, fuel economy, like emissions and all this shit. So that's why they don't make trucks. Like pickup trucks anymore. They're all fucking big. I'd kill for an old truck, like a 90s or like an 80s pickup truck. I like the look of those trucks, but no, can't have them anymore. I guess that's the one thing I'll agree with these fucked cars people. We should be able to get those small trucks back. They're very fuel efficient. Uh, 
Are these guys just painting a bike lane? Apparently walking to the grocery store is the same as walling off entire city districts. 15 minute cities will go from isn't that convenient to why do you want to go anywhere else? Dutch Bros is drive through. Yeah. Dutch Bros is literally a tiny little shack that's only drive through. They have one window, which is just the drive through window. You literally could have gone to any Starbucks that's anywhere. It's like walking into an Italian restaurant and being pissed that they don't have, like, Mexican food. Pickup trucks are good for construction sites. They're good for me when I want to move. Well, I wish I had a truck instead of a car. Because I'm going to be moving soon. Spot in the city of Rotterdam, the Netherlands. Both didn't have a permit to park there. Pickups are becoming a plague here. Hell yeah, brother. Blind zones in front of vehicles. I mean, aren't there like sensors in trucks nowadays? I mean, at that point, if there's like 10 kids sitting on the street, why are they in the street? An engineer's design of intersections that require no traffic lights. Uh, I guess, okay, and that's for Yui's taking a right. I mean, I guess? I mean, at that point, it's not really the SUV's fault. It's more so the person who's driving's fault. Clean energy. Truck lifted too high to see the Porsche in front of him. It honestly just comes down to... <laughs> yeah, any kid who sits in front of a running truck has it coming. It, at the end of the day, it just comes down to people being bad drivers. Let's see where where's the where's the cuckold thing again one last one for the road cuckold cap cuckold paradise jesus christ one one more good cuckold story to to end the stream what's that one guy again Most humiliating for me it was definitely going to a swimming club, being caged, watching my wife, getting fucked in a room full of people watching and cleaning up afterwards. They made him clean up. Heart truth of lifestyle. One of my favorite posts on here. Everyone's good with the harsh truth people have come to realize, especially cucks learning harsh truths about their wives. Blah blah blah. blah. I don't think my I don't ever think of my husband when I'm buying lingerie anymore. Jesus Christ. I need to see this opinion piece. Why must cuckold porn sucks? Yeah, I saw that. Let's see. I feel the vast majority of cuckold porn, cuckold porn sucks. And I'm wondering if others feel the same. If you search for cuckold porn online, the vast majority of the professional stuff shows some poor guy with a wife who seems to ab absolutely hate his guts. There's zero affection shown. Absolutely no touching or kissing the husband. The average looking husband is shouted at by his superior well, by his super hot wife, made to watch while she gets fucked by one to 
three guys and then is required to let the come off her body if he is allowed to touch her at all. At no point is it believable that these two people are married. If I were the dude, I would have walked out a long time ago. Is there more to this cuckold story? How do I how do I read into this cuckolds? Oh god, there's even more. Blah 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 blah. Exact same French guy. Well, it's a French guy? Yeah, French are cucks. If you search for the amateur cuckold stuff, more believable, blah, 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 blah. Locked behind <laughs> paywalls. You're already getting cucked, so might as well buy it. Buy the OnlyFans, cuck. Why is it so hard to get it right for me to kings about hot women who loves me but wants to be naughty in front of me? <laughs> I mean, it's porn. What does he expect? I don't know, man. This guy, he wants his weird and niche fucking kink. To have perfect porn. Like, no porn is perfect. It's just there for you to jack off. I'm sure I can share a direct porn link here, so I just described the scene. Blah, 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 blah. blah. I don't care. Uh, anyone else feel this way? Because it's not realistic. <laughs> Slow burn, spine tingling, genre defining. <clears throat> Man. Actually, like, sitting through. This website for once and browsing this fucking website. It's like, man, Redditors are exactly as I fucking thought they were. Like, such, like, I I think I'm an asshole. But, like, man, the, the Redditors are, like, on a different level. Like, they're genuine. Like, they're, they're not, they're not fucking around, man. They're just cynical, bad people. It's like everyone's out to get them. They're always the victim. It's like a kind of... <laughs> he wants more pimp cuckage. I guess he wants his cuck porn to have the cuck, I guess, have a turn. Uh, enough of this site. I've had enough. So we're going to call it here. I got to eat dinner because I'm fucking starving. So let's do this. <sighs> Alright, interns. I hope you enjoyed this eye-opening stream. I learned something new about the Reddit. <laughs> Shach, 20 bucks, Shacho forgets to change PNG for the next stream. I'll never forget. Oh, thanks everyone. Came by. Serena, Amprim, Trob came in a couple times. Conductor. Uh, let's see. Some other new faces. Wenham as well for coming by. Neat. Let's see. Norelli. Uh, Grilled came by for a sec. <laughs> and Rick came by to say gay. But uh, thank you guys for coming by. It's been... It's been a stream. Uh, I don't know when I'll be back. Uh, I really have to get packing into high gear this week. Because uh, I've been kind of procrastinating on that. So, If anything, next stream probably won't. I'll try to do something on Friday. You know, I, I need my unwind day. I need my drinking. So I'll probably stream on Friday. I don't know what. It'll be something. Uh, but yeah, thanks interns for coming by, and I'll most likely see you Friday.